This is the bubble gun in action. I always knew I was going to be an independent inventor. And I chose toys. I got the idea for the chattering teeth. I saw a magazine ad for a tooth garage. This was a container to hold your false teeth on the table alongside your bed. I went to my dentist and I asked him for a pair of old teeth that he has around him, and he gave them to me. At that time, that was right after the war, and uh, we had plastics that we could cast. I made a mold that I cast them, and then I refined them, then I carved them. It was a big hit right from the start. And this is what it does. But I work in plastic mostly, not metal. I always check that these two are back in their sockets. When I came back from the Navy and can finally afford some tools, that's when I started. And little by little, I was able to buy machines. I love buying machines. I was born in Chicago in 1921, and I grew up like everyone else grew up, <laughs> year after year. <laughs> My father died when I was 12 years old. He was 44 years old. He was in a county hospital in Chicago. If you didn't have money, that's where you went. Our lives changed entirely. I was always doing things. I had no tools, I had nothing. It was a big thing for me when I was a kid. My mother sent shirts out to the laundry and when they came back, they had a cardboard piece in there and I was able to cut things out and put things together, and, you know, like that. I did uh, make some toys when I was a kid. Uh, I made this little diver and then a Coca-Cola bottle that went up and down on my kitchen stove with glass tubing. I was interested in physics. I wanted to be a physics major, but I knew I would have a hard time going to college. That was in 1939-40. And my mother said, how are you gonna go to school? And I said, well, I'll go to the class until they ask me for the small tuition, you know. And that's what I did. They asked me for it, and I had to leave class. A big turning point in my life was the war. I wanted to do my part. I was young, we all were. And I was also very thankful that my mother and father both were able to come to this country. And I wanted to pay back. I, I wanted to do my part. I was really interested in radar. I applied to the Navy. They sent me to the University of Houston to take electronics engineering. And then from there, we were sent to Treasure Island in San Francisco. And on top of the mountain there was a, a special lab, and that's where we learned about radar. But it was all very exciting for me. Myself and two others were the highest in, in all through school. Because it was all technical, it was all math and science. Then I could choose anywhere I wanted to go in the Navy. But we decided that uh, we wanted to see action, do our part, and then we uh, volunteered for submarine duty, out of three of us. 
We were each assigned a different submarine. And two of us made it, and the third one didn't make it. His submarine went down. <laughs> 